So what makes Atlanta Trap Atlanta Trap? So what makes Atlanta Trap is it, it's, it's so interesting. Like it can come from very dark stuff to very lighthearted stuff. I think the uniting factor is the tempo. Uh, usually I see stuff from slow to like, like from like 130 BPM to about damn like 164 BPM. Like honestly, one of the one of the beats that really influenced my Atlanta style production is Magnolia by Playboy Cardi, which I know we'll expand on in a little bit. We'll hit that one next. Yeah, but I mean, just specifically, like that was the faster end of what Atlanta sounds like and it's 164 BPM, very dancey. Um, but uh, I think artists like Young Thug, like Gunna, Lil Baby, popularized the Atlanta sound a lot by way of the production matching up with their heavily auto-tuned vocals. They're singing and stuff like that. What do you think about someone like Travis Scott? Is Travis Scott considered an Atlanta rapper? I think he came out of Houston, actually. But I think tr artists like Travis Scott are like like Drake, kind of like where they don't really have a type. They fit everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Um, I would say current trends coming out of Atlanta, though, that we would characterize as like um, lit type music. I would say one major thing though, before I forget that characterizes the Atlanta sound is guitar. Okay, I was about to ask about instruments. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Zaytoven really grandfathered the whole Atlanta scene, although Outkast way before him put Atlanta on a map. Zaytoven created, I think, a, a sound and that's very characterized by natural instruments. So what it used to be was a lot of piano, a lot of like bouncy, like church sounding rhythms that he was part of, organs, that kind of stuff. What it's evolved to and popularized by uh, producers like Turbo, like Wheezy, um, and artists like Gunna and Lil Baby, um, it's a guitar sample that's continuous, kind of fast, um, but it's it has a very short 808 in it, so it's more like a thump, a thump bass rather than a long continuous bass. 